Welcome everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. Today we will be discussing multiplication of radical expressions. So if we have n root of a times n root of b, that is equal to n root of a and b. If they have the same index, so just multiply our radical. So let's say we have a square root of 2 times a square root of 5. So that is equal to the square root of 2 times 5, the square root of 10. And if we have cube root of 5 times cube root of 4, that is equal to cube root of 5 times 4, 20. Always check the radical for your final answer if there is a factor that is a perfect square number. So we can reduce our fi uh, final answer into simplest form. Let's say we have cube root of 25 times cube root of 5. Multiply cube root of 25 times 5, which is 125. Cube root of 125 is 1 to 5, a perfect, perfect cube number? Oh, yes, that is 5 times 5 times 5. So the final answer is 5. Let's say we have the square root of 3 times the square root of 6. The square root of 3 times the square root of 6. So multiply, that is the square root of 3 times 6, 18. 18 has a factor of 9 times 2. 9 is a perfect square. So we can write square root of 9 times 2. 9 is a perfect square number. So we can reduce that to square root of 9, 3 square root of 2. This will be our final answer. Now, Let's have this problem A, B, C, and D. In letter A, we have the square root of 5 times the square root of 15. Letter B, 2 cube root of 4 times 5 cube root of 12. And letter C, 3 square root of 2 times 2 square root of 2 plus 3. And letter D, quantity square root of 2 minus 3 times quantity square root of 6 plus 4. So let's solve one by one. In number, or in letter A, just multiply 5 times 15, that is 70, 75. So let's check, 15 plus 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, correct. Factors of 75 are 25 times 3. Now, 25 is a perfect square number. So our final answer is square root of 25, which is 5, square root of 3. Letter B, 2 cube root of 4 times 5 cube root of 12. So multiplying 2 times 5, that is 10, cube root of 4 times 12, which is 48. Our index is 3, so we need to find the factors of 48. One factor must be a perfect cube. So 10, cube root of 8 times 6, because 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. So we have 10 times 2 cube root of copy 6. And now we have 10 times 2, 20 cube root of 6. That would be our final answer. And for letter C, we need to distribute 3 square root of 2 times 3 square root of 2 plus 3. So distribute. 3 times 2, that is 6, square root of 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 
three times three. That is nine square root of two. Six square root of four. So that is two plus nine square root of two. Six times two, twelve plus nine square root of two. So this will be our final answer. Can you try letter B? Letter D, we need to use the formula method. So we have square root of 2 times square root of 6. That is square root of 12. Square root of 2 times 4. Positive 4 square root of 2. Next, negative 3 times square root of 6. Negative 3 square root of 6. Negative 3 times positive 4, negative 3. Factors of 12, that is 4 times 3, plus 4 square root of 2, minus 3 square root of 6, minus 12. Square root of 4, that is 2, then that is square root of 3, plus 4 square root of 2, minus 3 square root of 6, minus 12. Now, if we have the same radical and index, we can combine them. But in this case, do we have? So index is 2, 2, 2. How about the radical? 3, 2, and 6. So this will be our final answer. So. You can check A, B, C, and D. Now, that is on how to multiply radical expression with the same index. What if the problem has different indices? So that would be our next lesson. So stay tuned for our next video, multiplying radical expression with different indices. Once again, thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and kindly share this tutorial video to your classmates. Invite them to visit our channel so we can help them to answer their modules.